Welcome back to another Stephen Kaysa video. Today what we have is a little bit of a test. We are slowly getting closer and closer to having a good, good golf ball. What you guys see right here is a prototype. We had our team there working on these golf balls. As you guys saw, we went through the first one, not up to our standards. Absolutely pissed me off every time I hit the ball. So we, we trashed them. Everybody didn't like them. I, I know you guys don't quite understand maybe that, but after a while, you'll understand what we're talking about. But as you can see, this is just a prototype packaging and all this. We have the good, good golf balls as you can see right here this is just a logo this is not anything they just printed this out just for us just to see this putt is good as you guys know we have them marked as one we have them on we put them all on a track man got all their numbers put them all take everybody hit them number wise they're doing good but it comes down to feel at the end of the day so we're just going to review this and we're getting close to official good good golf ball i hope you guys enjoy we're on the road to 200,000 subscribers i'm like 4,000 away screw you yeah dude you're getting close i'm not gonna lie all right here we go First time Matt has touched the balls, par four, 368 yards, drivable if you catch it right. Look how that flies really well. This is wow. up, up the left side. You see, that was really good. Yeah, it's so weird that like testing your own balls that you're working on. If you guys don't know, we already explained in the intro, but these are the prototype good, good balls. And it's gone a lot further because we actually have a good, good box right here fighting for par like it's an actual like real thing this time so yeah, we're just supposed to be testing them but I, of course i just take them and i'm gonna make a video about it and actually review them right for you guys right because i i did i actually did one of these reviews as well back when we were doing different different balls they were called launch techs or something so this is an even better upgrade oh steve that's pretty good thank you oh lord steve got some fans I was so bad. It was bad. It was not a good shot, but Dang, dude, that actually came out of nowhere. No, I took it up the right side, and it's in the rough. But off the face, other oh, carts. <laughs> Bro, Steve. <laughs> All right, but here's where Matt landed. We got a nice little chip shot, about 60 yards. Just gonna throw a dart. We are playing a scramble, so we can get a true test out of them. We might play a match with them at some point, but right now, this is our whole job: testing the balls. We got the numbers on them, but actually using them is what matters using the most. Them in, using them in like gameplay is a lot different than testing them on a simulator. Yeah, you know numbers I mean? can say whatever, but if that ball doesn't feel good on the course, it does not matter. There, there. Oh, God. I think it has some spin on her. Hey. Yeah. Whew. If we come out with a golf ball, we are all going to use it. So it's not going to be this thing where, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's not going to be this thing where two people use it, three people decide not to. Everybody has to be in agreement, and we all are trying out the golf balls our separate ways. This is how Steve's doing it. This is how I'm doing it. It just works this way. We all have to be able to use them. We cannot hit them the other. Dude, that comes off clean the face. Whoa. Okay, they're, they're, they're really... They're pretty, they're soft around the greens. They, they, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they spin. That's my big thing. Off the driver, they're really good because they, they have kind of, I can't, I don't know how to explain it. it. Like it feels really soft when it comes off the face. Yeah. Not like a hard like pinnacle or a top flight kind of thing. No. It, it, I want a ball that we all like and we all use. That was two really good oh, shots. Oh, we did a really good shot, Steve. Yeah. Putting. This is gonna be big too. Yeah. Putting, putting's a big thing. I'll show you about the putter. But it, it, it's so crazy that a year ago we didn't even have clothes. We had this, this type of stuff, just T-shirts, and now we have actual golf balls that we're working on and so i don't know how close we are to finishing it's just we had the one test those balls were kind of bad i mean they weren't what I, we could use and we're slowly getting closer and closer to what we need and as you guys can see this is not this is just like i'll show you what they look like but this is not a already done ball but it has this putt is good and you need to line it up with the this yeah, I, I really like that yeah uh, another problem with these uh, you guys can see right now it is very shiny we do not like that yeah, the glossy, the glossiness, it just, it just it kind of affects for me, like, especially when I was at Payne's Valley, it somehow happened a lot in Payne's Valley. I'd look down at my club and the sun would hit the club really, really hard. And then I couldn't see. Yeah. And this ball right now, you can kind of see, I can see from this angle, it's kind of shiny. It's glossy. On the left side here. So yeah. And I can make a birdie. Oh Lord, that broke to the left, not right. <laughs> Shoot. All right, first, but that felt pretty good. First putt with the ball. I think putting is going to be what I really want to look at. Oh, that was close. Ah, tore off the first with the scramble. I'm going to be honest. Hey. That was not good for me. No bogeys. That's no the key bogeys. in scrambles. Yeah. The minute you make a bogey is the minute you lose your round. I'll tell you that right yeah. now. Yeah, I don't care what we shoot as long as I know how them some bucks are feeling. Yeah. I got a few wedge. Wind in the back. Can't lose these golf balls. Yep, we literally only have two. And Steve is going to make a hole in one. There you go. Oh, 
Holy crap! Did that get there? No, oh, it's in front of the bunker. Ooh. Good job, Steve. Wow, okay, well, uh, after a par and Steven misses the green, you got a 9 or a P wedge. I got P wedge. All right, I don't know why. That was, I always hit this right on line. It just never is close. It's always left, right, long. Power thin for the win. That's drawing pretty nice, too. Perfect shot. Yeah. All right, Matt. Woo! Come on, Steve, make back. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying, yeah. As we're getting closer and closer to launching golf balls, we will slowly get more and more depth and all that, but. Like I was saying, we want a golf ball everybody can use in the group. There's no complaints. The more we test these, the more we do this, it should be fun. So we're we're putting on the work, boys, and this is just kind of a review. Keep your shaking your head. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I mean, back-to-back -back shots with my wedges so far have been right on the number. The hole is right there. My ball landed right there. So I had a little bit of spin here, which is really good. That's a good thing to notice for the golf balls. Because I can come out here and shoot three under. That doesn't mean everybody else will. Come on, Steve, I need you for putting, need you for putting. <gasps> boinky, doinky, floinky, dude, what are you saying to me? That one kissed the lip. I'm starting to lip him more like Grant. Dude, Grant be rolling over on everybody. Yeah. All right, here we go, Sharf. Go, go, stop breaking. Go, 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 go. Matt, if you would hit it, you would, you would do something with your life. Another good shot. All right, Matt, we have taken every one of Matt's shots today. I'm not gonna say anything, but he's made two pars. On to the next hole. I like softer balls. Yeah. Because I, I just, like when the when the coating on the outside of the ball is soft, it comes off of the, the club face really soft. Yeah. And it just feels really good. Yeah. And it's also got a little bit of spin. The first hole, the wedge shot, spun a little bit back towards the hole. Yeah. That P wedge also spun back towards the hole. So yeah. the spin rate, pretty similar. So. Yeah. Anyways, just going off feel, boy. Hole number two, it is dogleg right. So far, two pars. So you far, made two them pars. Both. So far, two pars. The balls feel really, really solid right now. Uh, I'm gonna kind of unleash one on the driver and hopefully it comes off the, the face pretty smooth like it did yeah. with the three wood. But I mean, yeah, the wedges feel really good and the putting also feels really good. So those are those are two things that I'm definitely looking yeah. for. So. Another thing, being able to make a ball to exactly how you want it. It's fun. First of all, very fun. Yeah, it's fun. It takes a lot of work. It's been six months in the process, but it is very fun. We gotta find that. There's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a 12 percent chance that that's in play. <laughs> Dang it! I mean, I don't hit cuts. I thought I was gonna hit a nice swooping draw on that one. Frick! I'm pissed. Okay, that's a better line. That's a lot better. Still flirting with it, which is not good. Hey, we both. Steve, what are we doing? We're know. going the. But I hit, I hit that one well. That it feels good off. It's not like a hard golf. I can't explain it. I cannot explain it, but it feels good. Yeah, the, the cover the cover over the golf ball, it feels soft, which is exactly it's what you need for spin. It's what you need for good contact off the driver face. There's, there's a lot of different things that come into play, but that was a miss hit for me. And I'm like, it wasn't like I didn't top it or anything, so it wasn't it wasn't overly bad. But now we got to find them. That's the trick. Anyways, here's where I landed. I thought, here's what we're gonna have to do. Matt's gonna use his favorite ball. I'm gonna use a good, good ball. And we're gonna switch back and forth on each hole because someone can't keep a freaking ball in play. Good job, Matt. It's all right. It's all right. I rocked this drive so hard. You rocked it good. This is a good drive from Steve. Yeah. All right, Matt with his probe one. Go. Get up. Kick left. Did everything you said. Now we're putting. I think. I am. I'm on the green. Dude, you hit it dead straight. Sit. I like spin. I do like that. I think it spins it quite a bit, actually. Yeah, I love it. All right, anyways, we've got two putts at it. I think Matt's a lot closer, but. Here's where I landed. Matt's a little bit short. I want to see if we can't make a birdie. Cut my legs up bad. Yo, Steve. This would be my solo birdie, you know? We'll be going back and forth. This would be Steve's solo birdie here. He'd definitely be kind of, kind of clean, would it? Steve with the solo clutchness. Dude, you are a tank. That is clean. Solo bird, boys. <laughs> well, you can make birdies with it. I'll give it that. I also, the other thing I want to test, durability. I don't want this sunbuck to be falling apart. I want, I want I want, to be able to hit a freaking, I want to be able to be ran over, dragged across this cart path and still be able to be played. Dude, imagine making a golf ball that cannot get carts, like cannot get cart marks. Yeah, imagine making a golf ball that has a tracker on it. That'd be clean, actually. Anyways, all right, here we go, par five, 458 yards. Just so we don't lose another golf ball, just so we don't have another incident that I had, I'm gonna try and hit this ball in play for me and yeah. Steve. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, that actually might be in play. That should be, be on that right side. 
I didn't have much of an angle to the green. I wish I could hit a shot, but yeah. I, we'll uh, we'll use Steve on the. Well, I guess I had the iron chip. Yeah, well, I'll we'll switch it out. We'll but we cannot lose another golf ball because then the video would be pointless. Correct. Yeah. yeah. All right. Matt has not tested these iron shots. He's gonna hit a 50 degree from about. I'd say 130 maybe. Yeah, like 130. I'm gonna hit the Pro B1. Just uh, as you guys know, I know how the Pro B1 feels, but you're gonna see the big difference. Be the left side. long i hit a 50 degree 175 what the heck happened there that was a pretty good pretty good shot out of the dirt that should potentially be on the green or just long ah, i caught the dirt ah. that's a tough shot out of the dirt i really didn't give us the best leave but i did keep it in play which is better than what i did with the ball that i lost yeah if you lose another one that's gonna be you're gonna lose other some some other balls that was actually really good sharp. We're gonna see if we can get this up down for our birdie. Ooh, we have not tested around the greens. Oh, that is true. Let's see how, they, how they're how they feeling. 60 degree. I could go back and forth some holes. You carry, I carry, and then we both kind of funny. But you could have potentially carried this hole because I didn't give us a good position. We just unfortunately have to do what we gotta do. Yeah. Oh, I gotta hit the green though, Matt. Not on that the... downhill until you hit the green. You hit the freaking edge of the front. Brick, it's not good. Steve's got to carry us with the Pro-V. Carry us to victory, go. Yes, Poppy Jr. That is perfect, that is called Steve carrying the team. Steve, tapping in with the good, good ball. Our putting is unmatched. It is unmatched in scrambles. It is unmatched Bruh. in scrambles, clearly so unmatched. Right. You see, I hide myself up a little bit too much there. Yeah, good. The good ball. Wow. This is good. This is good. See, it wasn't good last time because I didn't put the line on it. This is good, though. It breaks to the right. Start on the right side of the hole. This is good. It's a nice, soft touch. Good. Left side. Why did I say right? Yeah. Thanks, Dick. Right. Thanks for saying the right, and then I push it right. Just shut your did, mouth. You didn't even start it near the hole. All right, another par. Well, our scramble is not good. See, but it's all right. We're testing. We're testing. Test See, that's the thing. You can't be mad at the We're score. one under. We're one under. We're still one under par. That's yeah. the goal of scrambles is to be under par, and we're currently doing it. Yeah. Is it good? All right, here, here's the vibe we're on. Matt's gonna use a Pro V1 throughout this hole. I'm gonna hit a Pro V1 and the good, good golf ball. And I'm gonna just compare the final little test. This is a final hole. We have a lot of groups out here and I, I hate getting in the way. So we went back to just start over. You didn't top it. You got a tight draw though. Just over that bunker. Just on that bunker. That's gonna be a really crappy lie. Steve loves to zoom in on my cheeks. I'm gonna start off with the pro even one and then I'm gonna hit. You have a good, good tee still? Somehow in my bag, I do. It's actually lit. Alright, Steven SC, Titleist Pro V. That has nothing to do with the golf stuff. That is true, but that is in the fairway. Has, I'm trying to go for the green. Alright, here we go. Alright, smooth swing here. That might be in the fairway, potentially in the rough. Not bad. Garrett played with the other golf balls. I forgot to mention this. The other ones, they were number twos, which is just, that's how we're marking them to tell what they are, but they're a lot harder off the tee, so you get a longer drive, but we're trying to get where you get a longer drive and you get spin, and it's hard. I, I never knew how hard it was to make golf balls the way you want them, but. All right, we're gonna let Sharf go. I hit actually both in the fairway, one there and one over there. All right, here we go, Sharf. Tough lie, but we'll see what he does. Where's it going? Uh, oh lord, that's gonna be down the hill. Glad you're not using the ball. Garrett literally's like, don't lose a ball. Oh no, Garrett's gonna kill me. I, hey, but I tested, tested it and it it's actually really good. It's good and it plays really well from trees. <laughs> in the trees. Holy Sacagawea! Alright, here we go. I got a 60 degree. Oh, that was some PGA Tour tracer there. Oh, Lord. Hey, so that outperformed. I mean, obviously it outperformed the Pro-V because he hit it really thin, but still good to see that he hit both fairways. Hashtag Grant Horvat. Oh, 
Oh, that just oh. that just sat pretty nice though. Yeah, Pro B's are Pro B. Them sound bucks are good. Like, really freaking good. All right, here's where I landed with the Pro B. I got a long putt. The good good ball is actually really close. That could go in. Oh, it's a little high. Oh, what a putt though. Right. Pretty solid putt. I'm not playing my ball for time's sake because it's probably gone down there quite a bit. So I gotta go, go, go and get it now. Steve for par. All right, makes par with Pro B, but a chance for birdie with with uh, a makeable birdie too with good, good. Go, go! Oh lord, that was a good putt. All right, well this this one I like this one better than the first one I tested out because this one's a lot more softer and it is way better than the first one. First one I ever made a video about because them some bucks. But anyways, we're just making progress slowly. Um, hopefully, very soon we'll be having a golf ball that can compete. And it, once again, we're not gonna eat, we're not gonna sell a golf ball that we do not all use and can compete with. Like Tig, if he needs to go out and play a tournament, or Garrett needs to go do this, or or Steven needs to go play in the PGA Tour, something like that. I don't know. We're gonna be able to use them, and they're gonna be uh, quality. So that's why it's taking so long, and it, it, it's so much that goes in behind the scenes to make a golf ball. It's hard to comprehend, mm. right? But I'm gonna rate this ball right now. This is my favorite so far. A little bit harder. Yeah. But still find a way to keep the spin because I love yeah. how that ball spins. I love the spin, but we just got to, and also this gloss is disgusting. Got to get rid of that. I, got, I agree with that. Like I can see it right now, it's pissed me off. Yeah, the gloss is nasty. I don't like that. All right, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will catch you in the next one. That's a, a review from Steve, right? We should cut it open, but then we can't. I could have cut it open if you would have kept the other one. Anyways, we will catch you in the next one. Peace.